here, PC Game Inspector here. It's been a little while since we reviewed a game, hasn't it? So tonight, I shall look at... SpongeBob SquarePants. Jenkins, what is this? It's a sponge who inhabits a pineapple on the ocean floor, me lord. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Absorbent in yellow and porous is here. SpongeBob SquarePants. It's quite enough of that. Anyway, here we go. Battle for Bikini Bottom. Sounds a little rude for my liking. What? It quite clearly says Battle for Bikini Bottom, not SpongeBob the Movie. As a matter of fact, this is a two disc set, and neither of the games are supposed to be SpongeBob SquarePants the Movie. I suppose we should be playing that instead, shall we? It is an extraordinary morning for Spongebob. He wakes up even more excited yeah. than usual. For today is the day Mr. Krabs announces his appointment for manager of the Krusty Krab 2. The Krusty Krab? That sounds revolting. Alarm clock. I tell you, that thing is loud. It scares Gary half to death. This music is scaring me half to death, dear boy. Looks like a beautiful day outside. The perfect weather for a promotion. Perfect weather for a promotion under the sea. Let's try to communicate with this snail thingamajigger. Are you hungry, little fella? Meow. Maybe just a little around the eye stalks, but it looks good. You were too thin before. Meow. I am not just saying that. Time to shower, but I'm not doing it in front of you. Close your eyes. Very well. I wouldn't want to see a sponge naked after all. Squeaky clean! Squeak, squeak! Time to visit the neighbors, I say. Isn't the opening of the Krusty Krab too exciting? I want you to know I plan to thank you in my managerial acceptance speech. Did you happen to that I am showering? An awful lot of this game seems to revolve around showering. In spite of the fact that we are underwater. Well, bye for now, Squidward. Oh, you're leaving? My horoscope was right. Today is a day of great joy. I wouldn't go that far. Well, this is incredibly easy. The enemies aren't even trying to hit me. Doing that demonstrates a divine lack of evil. I refuse! I'm sure plenty of history's evildoers climbed a ladder or two in their time. Aha! The crown is mine! Mr. Krabs, prepare to meet thy doom! Yeah, so now the plot begins. Perhaps things are about to get interesting. Only to find King Neptune has frozen Monsieur Krabs. <gasps> he believes that Mr. Krabs has stolen his crown wow. and will fry him to a crisp if the crown is not returned in five days. Well, I suppose I shall have to find the crown then. It's enough fun just watching poor saps like yourself try and survive over the county line. Oh, but we did go to Goofy Goobas last night. That was fun. Shh, why'd you have to go and tell them that? Well, you looked like you were having fun singing and dancing on the table, and then you... I did not. Yes, you did, and you hugged Goofy Goober and told him he was your best friend, and then I got upset because I thought I was your best friend, and then... That's enough of that. Hi, are you lost? Hardly. One cannot be lost when one is at home. 
I am Charles Oscar William Piedmont Augustus Winthorpe. Finally, somebody with a sensible name. It's about time. Blow it! Blow it! Calm down, Patrick. I will. A whistle, of course. What did you think he meant? It doesn't take long for them to realize that Plankton has been up to no good where they were gone. Everyone in Bikini Bottom appears to be under his control, including King Neptune himself. I say, Jenkins, do you think perhaps you'd be a little more obedient with a bucket on your head? Only one way to find out, I suppose, me lord. Hmm. Settle down! S settle! I'm a goofy goober! Oh, what? Let's rock! Final boss battle, eh? This should be exciting. I've got to get the notes of this song right, or it won't destroy Plankton's mind control helmets. Yep. Well, that wasn't very challenging. It's a game meant for kitty winkles, my lord. My grandson loves Spongebob. Hmm, that makes a lot more s Jenkins, I didn't know you had children. Or don't. But I thought you just said- My imaginary grandson, my lord. It helps me get through the day. I see. Patrick, I will!